How you doing, Zach? Good, good. Um, you are uh, obviously a very talented player with, with a lot of length and uh, you know, really made a jump from 21 to 22. Uh, take me inside, kind of, you know, what was your thought process coming into the season um, in terms of uh, your pass plan and things you want to improve on? Yeah, you know, I just wanted to take my game to the next level, you know, um, just be more a pro about my approach, you know, uh, you know, be watch film study, you know, just take care of my body, things that I'm going to need at this next level that I wasn't necessarily doing in my early years of college, you know, try to get over that hump. It seemed like you reduced your game a little bit to, to pretty much a power profile. Was that intentional to kind of like reduce and refine rather than... Uh, diversity, diversify your game this year? Um, yeah, I would say um, I definitely added a lot of that to my game, you know, just getting with Coach Jay and realizing, you know, my strengths and my weaknesses. And, you know, I feel like I did a good job of, you know, getting hands on guys and, and, and closing the pocket and then collapsing the pocket and affecting the quarterback that way. You know, it looks different, but it you know, gets the same job done. And I realize, you know, that's, that's a huge part of my game coming going forward. Zach, if I'm a general manager and I draft you, what type of player am I going to be? I feel like you're going to get a playmaker. You know, our guys are going to be able to lead. Be a leader in the locker room. Guys are gonna gravitate towards me, you know, just because of you know, my hard work and my personality. And I'm a guy on the field who, you know, likes to make plays. You know, like in TFLs, and I like to, you know, change the game. What would make this week a success for you? Um, you know, really, I'm, I really want to just do all of my interviews. You know, get in front of guys. You know, a lot of I play a lot of football at Ohio State, so a lot of teams know like my athletic profile and what I can do on the field. I just want to you know, let teams know, you know, the person I am on you helmet. I've not, not formally, no. Yeah, something you made good tell uh, you to really show off this week? Um, really just everything. You know, I'm really trying to, um, you know, put my best foot forward and just showcase my skills. You ran some, you ran some really fast times in high school. Do you have a goal for what you can run this week? Um, I just want to run fast as I can. That's really my goal, you know. Who's the current NFL player you'd like to model you for after? Um... I don't know about Marlon my career, but there's a bunch of guys who I watch. So I got, I'm really big into watching the Bosa's, you know, Nick and Joey, just because, you know, where we come from the same coach, we learn the same technique. You know, they do it at the highest level possible, and that's something that, you know, I want to emulate. Um, I'm a big fan of Chandler Jones, Miles Garrett, you know, longer, bigger guys, you know, who, who use their length to get around the edge. Zach, when you think about your Ohio State career, I mean, what kind of stands out to you? It was obviously a long journey. Yeah. Ups and downs. I mean, what stands out to you about your Ohio State I mean, career? I'd probably say my biggest, my biggest accomplishment there is, you know, just being voted captain. That's something that, you know, um, I'm going to have on my resume for the rest of my life. You know, that was voted for by my peers. You know, I'm really honored to be able to do that. You know, just all of my time at Ohio State, you know, I loved, I loved every second of it, the whole journey. This is the first, you're going to be moving away from home. Yeah. For the first time. Have you thought about it? I'm sure you have. Yeah. What's that yeah. going to be like for you? You've been in Columbus your whole life. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. You know, I'm excited, you know. Just something new, you know. I love Columbus. It's always going to have a special place in my heart because it's home. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, I'm, I'm ready to, you know, you know, kind of spread my wings and, and, you know, get away from home and, and you know, just build, build my, uh, plant my roots somewhere else. How confident are you that there's another level you can tap into but your best football is still in front of you? Very confident. I'm, I'm so excited about the, the player that I am today. And then knowing that I have, I have so much to work on and, and being in this position where I'm at right now, just being, you know, at the at the combine and being one of the you know the top guys in, in the, the defensive line class and just knowing that I have so much room to improve and I hope that uh, you know, I get to get to tap into that. Zach, how long did it take you to get over how the season ended there in Atlanta? And when in that game did you know that not only could you hang with them, you had a chance to do them? Uh, we knew we could hang with them since the very first snap, but we didn't go in there and believe we were underdogs, nothing like that. You know, we went in there to win the game, so it was nothing like that. And um. It sucks, you know, the way the way the game ended and the way, you know, uh, you know we couldn't get the win. But, uh, you know, like I said, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't trade it for the world. You know, it's a memory I have forever. And, you know, just I love my time at Ohio State. You know, obviously, I wanted to get the win, but, you know, it's, it's football and it happens. Zach, on that last drive by Georgia, on that first play, you came around the edge. You were this close to yeah. knocking the ball. How much have you watched that? How much do you think, geez, what, you know, what if? I mean, I don't like to do that, you know. I don't like to, you know, live in the past and just kind of live off what is. But I, did, I, I was close, and you know, that would have been that would have been a huge play, you know, to be able to close the game out like that. But you know, like I said, it's football, you know, things like that happen. You played a lot of talented offensive tackles this year. Um, for you, it seemed like the route the game in between, but just being applied to what they were throwing at you. 
all about. What was that process like for you? Like you see how attack was trying to block you, trying to put six on you, were able to adjust like you to lead to the win that Yeah, you know, uh, like during, during the course, so you go in the game with a game plan. You know, that we uh, sit down with Coach Jay and we try to figure out, you know, what the tackles did. And then as the game goes on, you got to adjust to, to how they're doing and, and, and the, the type of game that, that's going on. Every game is different. And so as, as that goes on, you know, I kind of like to adjust my my skills and see what's working and see what's not working. And then if something's working, they'll go back to it later in the game. Or if something's not working, maybe, you know, toss that move out and things like that. In the Maryland game in particular, there was like three straight plays back to back to back that you were able to like, use the long arm. Swim. Yeah. Uh, what, what was that that process like for you? To see being able to win, and you saw that the, the next counter wins and then people uh, Yeah. Yeah. No. It was. It was really. Um. It was huge because you know before the before the drive, I went to JT and I was like, "Bro, sack as the game. Like, this is a game we got to go win." And uh, you know, to go out there and, and to do that is you know it was, it, was, it was huge for me and just to be able to be reliable for my team. Like, just to, to be there on my team is and make a play with my number was called. Going back to the Oregon game in 21, that offensive line, and there's three guys here working on the scout by 12. What do you remember about that matchup? What made some of those matchups wrong with that game? I don't even know why. That was a long time ago, but I don't, I don't, I don't got too much pressure for that. What's your favorite go-to pass rush move? Um, like I said, I, I'm a big, um, I like I like the long arm, you know, especially now, you know, you know, I said learning my body and, and kind of figuring out, you know, well, I'm best moves. I feel like I'm a big long arm guy, and there's a lot of things I can do off of that as well, not just, you know, board rush and those are the things I'm continuing to work on. Have you met with the Steelers yet? Uh, not formally, no. Zach, you about Yeah, he was definitely, I'd probably say he's one of the best guys I want to get all year, you know, just because, um, He's got good length and he's real patient in his um, his set. You know, doesn't just the guy's guy gonna shoot hands and gonna make you come to him. And, and, and once you get there, he's a strong guy. So you know, I got nothing but respect for him. Zach, now that your career is over, there were times at Ohio State, sorry, the times that people asked you about uh, the sacks and being close to the UCLA. Did you ever feel like you were getting enough credit for stopping the run and the tackles for loss and the things that you were doing? Not, not really. No, you know, as long as. As long as you know my uh, my teammates, you know, respected me and appreciated me, and that's really all I cared about. Has there been, as you've gone through maybe some interviews or talked to teams, has that feedback been? Like, yeah, we can see the impact you're having on the game. Yeah, yeah. Foot, football players know, um, you know, that uh, I'm a ball player and I, and I make plays, but you know, I'm not sure if the casual fan knows that as much. Cause maybe my numbers aren't. I don't have Chase Young numbers, but you know, it's um. I definitely have an impact on the game. Like I said, really all I care about is my teammates and, and, and going out there and winning games. Did you ever feel at any point in the last four years if you weren't making the impact that you wanted or were you always pretty confident in what you did? I'm always a pretty confident guy. You know, like I said, obviously, you know, you want to have double-digit sack seasons and things like that, but, you know, you got to realize there's other ways to affect the game, and I feel like I, I did that well. Zach, we, we all know that, you know, you're going to run fast tomorrow. For, for your position, your numbers are probably going to be really good. It could push you, it should push you higher in the draft, possibly first round. Is that something, I mean, how important would it be to be a potential first-round pick? Yeah, that'd be huge. You know, that'd be huge to have a team take me in the first round. But honestly, you know, I'm just trying to get my foot in doing, you know, because once you get there, none of that really matters. It's all about playing football again. You're back to square one. you got to prove yourself and earn, earn yourself every day. Zach, the, the four years of film that you put down at Ohio State with how many snaps you played every year, how well do you think teams should know you? You know what I mean? It's like yeah. you, you've been doing it a lot for a long time. Yeah, I feel like teams have got a pretty good grasp of the kind of player I am. And like uh, some of you guys have said, they also know like there's a lot, there's a lot left in the tank. There's a lot more that I could reach, and a lot of teams have told me they're excited about the, the potential and the possibility of what what they could get on their team in the future. You mentioned Babosas and Chase Young. Have you been able to talk to those guys? Do you've gone through this process? Uh, no, I haven't reached out to those guys. No. What should Ohio State fans expect from a defensive lineman who are coming back next year? Well, I feel like those guys are going to be real dominant. Like one of the best in the country. Like we in the nation in sacks, TFLs, all that. Because all. All, all, everybody in that room is a, a great ball player. And all of them have got potential through the roof, and I know that they want to work and they, they, they want, they want it. They want it bad. So I'm excited to see what my guys do next year. Anybody in particular that we haven't seen play much yet that you think will really break out next year? Um, 
remember I said, yeah, you've seen, you've seen all the JTs and the Jacks and all those guys play, but, you know, one guy I'm, I'm excited about is um, Caden Curry, he's a freshman. I'm ready to, he's, he's going to be a real good player, just the way he moves and his motor never stops. And, you know, I'm, I'm excited to see see what he does. You know, really just everybody, but he's a guy that stands out to me. You know, it's going to be going to be a real good player. Zach, after Jordan gets there, somebody that you also watch, what do you think of his bend and the fact that he has so many moves that he's able to do? Yeah, that's probably the, the best, uh, his his best attribute, you know, is really just to bend the edge. And that's something that, you know, as a taller guy that, you know, that I look at him, like, all right, how do I emulate that into my game? It's kind of just like freaky how he does it. He'll just run, run right by guys and touch the ground and keep going full speed. And that's something that, as a pass rusher, is invaluable. That's why he has 15, 16 sacks every year.